Hey, this is Dr. Myers, Utah Valley Dermatology. Basal cells and squamous cells, these are skin cancers typically that we get in sun exposed areas, especially like the head and the neck area. So when they're in these more cosmetically sensitive areas or they're more uh, important or they're higher risk, um, even higher risk areas like fingers and other places, we use a procedure called Mohs. So Mohs is when we, um, Mohs is named after Frederick Mohs who developed this technique in Madison, Wisconsin, at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, where I went to residency, though he was many years prior to me. Basically, people come in, we take off what we believe is the rest of the uh, skin cancer. So it's already been proven, they got a biopsy proven basal serosquamous cell, and then they come in and we take off, um, we take off the rest because sometimes we're only getting the small top of it. So it's almost like an iceberg and we get the, the when we sample, we get the top portion of it, but there's still some left. And to accurately and um, with the best cure rate and to try uh, tissue sparing, so try to have the least amount of scar, we use Mohs. Mohs is a procedure where we come in and we take the deeper aspect of the lesion and we check it while the patient is here waiting. So they come in, we mark the spot after we've confirmed it, it's indeed the biopsy spot through pictures and through the patient. And then we, uh, uh, we've marked it and then we've numbed it. Now we take out the additional layer. There, while they're waiting, we can take it and dye it and we can basically take sections of that skin cancer and we can see the entire deep margin and we can say with, with great confidence, hey, we've got it all out. Or hey, there's a little bit left at two o'clock or four o'clock or whatever. And then we don't have to go out, if it's still positive, and take a ton more. We can just take the aspect that's still positive. That's the big benefit of Mohs, is one, we can see the entire deep aspect of it. Two, if we have to go back and take a little bit more, we know where to go and to not have to do something that's more disfiguring or larger that increases risk, that increases scar, that increases, could increase infection, um, could increase cost. Um, so all those things Mohs kind of um, helps with. So it's a really cool procedure. And then once we know confidently that it's out, all margins are negative, we can, um, we basically can suture it up. And we've been doing a lot of closures. We've been doing them over 15 years. So our goal now is then to make the very best cosmetic closure for that, for that lesion and for the patient. So um, that's Mohs in a nutshell. Awesome procedure, grateful that we have it. Now is Mohs for every um, lesion? It actually isn't because of a couple reasons. One, if you have a skin cancer, let's say on your arm here, and it's lower risk and it's not very big, we don't have to do kind of this more extensive and time consuming procedure if we can just take a little bit more off of the forearm. Um, and thus, we don't use it for some things. It's not indicated um, it's got appropriate use guidelines and appropriate use guidelines isn't for low risk ones on the arm of a basal cell to do Mohs. We just do a regular excision where we can remove it with margins that we believe get it out and, and generally that's 95% curative. Mohs even has a higher cure rate than excision instead of 95% for certain for for I guess most typical um, of these basal cell squamous cells, it would be cure rates of high of 90, 97 to 99%, which is pretty amazing. So uh, that's no, that's most.